Hey guys, it's me, Seren, back with another video. Today is the last Friday of the month, so I am coming to you with a Black Friday video. I feel like I always say this. I am always super excited, but I'm super, super excited um, about this one because this is a pair of sneakers from, I hope I pronounced this right, Salahe Benburi, who I've been following for several years now. I've been following his career. He is a sneaker designer. Uh, I first sort of became aware of him when he was um, first starting out at Versace and he made uh, this Cuban link inspired sneaker called the Chain Reaction that got very, very popular. Um, and I really enjoyed the design of that sneaker and I just started, I started following him on Instagram and I started following his career um, and he worked his way up to vice president of design at Versace. and. Now he's also working with New Balance and releasing, um, and, and he's also working with Crocs um, and releasing designs through them as well. Um, I missed the first Croc drop, which I'm so sad about. And now, of course, those Crocs are going for like $750. A lot of you guys know that I love sneakers. Um, I'm a, a former sneakerhead. I no longer collect because I feel like resellers and kind of ruined it and the whole game is different than it used to be but I do still love sneakers I still love shoes um, I still love clothes I still like love all that stuff I'm just not like I'm not gonna ever fucking raffle for the chance to buy a sneaker that's just like not something I'm ever gonna fucking do like if I can't buy it I don't want it I don't pay above retail like I just don't like I'm just I just don't do that <laughs> and that's kind of like what the culture has sort of evolved into. Um, and so I, I just like kind of watch drops from the sidelines and when I see a drop that I really, really want, I try to get it. And I did end up getting one of his uh, New Balance drops, New Balance 574s, the yurts. Um, I have unboxed uh, New Balance collaborations with black designers previously on this channel. The Eat New Balance um, was really, really special to me and those are some of my favorite sneakers because Eat is a black owned brand out of Washington DC and New Balance is a huge part of the culture, you know, in my city where I'm from. So it's really exciting to me to see these um, black designers working with New Balance. And I was really, really pleased to finally get my hands on a Salahe Ben Burry drop. So just for a quick little rundown of his career via Wikipedia. He's an American footwear designer known for his streetwear style. He is vice president of sneakers and men's footwear at Versace. He previously designed at Yeezy Gap and Cole Haan. And like I said, he also now works with New Balance and Crocs as well, um, doing creative direction with them and designing with them. Um, Bimberry was born in 1986 and raised in Tribeca, New York. He completed an industrial design degree at Syracuse University. After graduation, Ben Berry designed shoes at Payless. In 2011, he was hired at Cole Haan, and his supervisor at Cole Haan worked for Kanye West and encouraged Ben Berry to submit his portfolio. Starting at Yeezy in 2015, he designed luxury streetwear sneakers and the brand's season three and four projects. In September 2017, Ben Berry got his position as head of sneaker design at Versace by direct messaging his future supervisor via LinkedIn. In 2020, Ben Burry became vice president of sneakers and men's footwear at Versace. He does still work at Versace, um, and he also designs independently. Again, he, he has like full creative control over these uh, New Balance and Crocs projects. He designs them from top to finish. He also runs the advertising campaigns for them. I've really been enjoying his advertising campaigns, um, and I was just really, really excited to finally get my hands on a pair of these sneakers. So I'm super hyped. About these, I just have the box, the box that it came in here, and I haven't opened them, I haven't looked at them. The yurt, oh, I might have to put this box down and take it out. Let's see, I do. Okay, let me show you guys. The yurt. So a yurt is a thing. Hold on, I think I have it here. Yeah, so via high snobiety, a yurt is a rounded camping tent with skins or felt draped over it. Hence the shoes box presenting an actual yurt on the lid. So this is a yurt. Yurt. He has like a very sort of nature outside inspired kind of aesthetic that he's going with right now that I really like. 
and it also obviously says you're this is like a super cool box oh look and over here it's this is like embossed it's like raised new balance with his name and with some more years this is a beautiful box beautiful 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 gorgeous 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 box peace be the journey all right i'm gonna open it oh wow that's dope this is the inside dope 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 I'm getting a pair of them Crocs, too. Oh, I love it. And it also comes with a whistle. This is a whistle. And I don't know why you put your mouth on your sneakers. I mean, I guess I could do it right now because they're brand, super brand new. And it has this, like, um, thing on it to make sure it was clean. I kind of want to do it. Let's see. A real whistle that's dope uh, that's really funny so I love these they have like a black kind of like felt upper and a rubber you know what this part reminds me of too the Charles Barkley's um, which I did also have a pair of back in the day that's what this really reminds me of and I really like this design here and they're rubber as well these are so cool and it's like purple. I don't know if you can tell, it's only purple on this side. Purple here is black on this side. The sole is blue. These are so dope to me. The Charles Barkley Godzillas, that's what they were called, Godzilla. Sold them, I sold everything. There, there's some stuff I wish I had kept. I wish I had kept those Godzillas. I had a pair of Pee Wee Herman Dunks that I sold. I kind of wish I had kept those. I kept a few pairs. Um, I kept my Brian Anderson Dunks. Those are really special to me. I kept my bre bread ones. Um, I had a pair of original Sean Kemp's before they ever got retroed. And then I did get a retro pair and I kept both of those. Um, but I mostly sold everything because just my heart wasn't in it anymore. And it like hurt to see where the game was going but you know I still have my little love my little passion these are fire these are hard as fuck I love them already and there's another pair in here this whistle is hilarious so these are the Salahay Benberry Yurt. these are super dope I'm glad I finally got my hands on a pair of these they are doing another drop of the crop colorways. Unfortunately, the forest green that I really wanted is not coming back, but it's coming out in a couple other colors, so I'm going to try to get my hands on those. Um, but even if I can't, I got my hands on these, which I'm really, really pleased about. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. There will be uh, links and information in the description box. Yerk! Support black-owned artists and designers. And I will see you guys next time.